On January the 8th, 1912, a scientific team led by Douglas Mawson made landfall in Antarctica at what's now known as Commonwealth Bay. Exactly 100 years later, a new Australian expedition is in the Southern Ocean in Mawson's Wake. The ABC's Karen Barlow sent this report from aboard the Aurora Australis. Making up for lost time. The icebreaker Aurora Australis is 100 years and due to weather a few days behind the original Aurora which brought Douglas Mawson and his team to Antarctica. It's the beginning of Australia's involvement in the Antarctic. Uh, Douglas Mawson, what he achieved and what the other expeditions achieved is really part of the heroic era of exploration and we should and you remember all of that. The Mawson expedition surveyed and mapped the Antarctic coastline, taking in the strange new wildlife and geology. What took place 100 years ago paved the way for Australia's claim on 42% of Antarctica and set the tone for Australia's current presence on the continent. And it was really important placing science at the centre of Antarctica's future. Scientific work is already underway on this voyage. A trawl for plankton and marine snails turned up something much larger. I've never seen anything this big before, so I actually don't know what this is. It could be a worm. Even with this strange creature, Mawson's scientific legacy continues. Mawson's angel sitting on our shoulder for the weather, so maybe we should call this Mawson wormy eye or whatever if it's a new species. It's fine now, but in true Antarctic style, a severe blizzard is due around Commonwealth Bay just as the Aurora Australis arrives. Hopefully that will clear by Thursday the 12th in time for the official commemorations. Karen Barlow, ABC News, Southern Ocean.